Yo, welcome to Walker's Way Show featuring one and only Mr. Walker. Today we're going over a video about what to do if you have a bad hairline. Now, I've been using this ever since I've been uh, scalping, ever since I scalped my hair, of course, uh, this African Shea Butter. Now this stuff, you can find this. I haven't seen this sold at my local Walmarts, but it might be sold at yours. Uh, I got this from a hair store in uh, downtown, and what it does is that it's it's a natural treatment for dry skin, skin discolorations, diaper rash. Uh, it's also a pain relief, though, too. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and explain to y'all why this is important for our hair and scalp. Now, every time we give ourselves these fancy hairlines and stuff, what's happening is that you're irritating your scalp. Having a hairline is never going to be good for your skin because it's kind of like getting tattoos. You know, once you get tatted up, you know, your skin is going to heal, but that part of the tat is going to stay there. That's why people get tattoos. That's why you have to... To get something permanent, you're going to have to cut your skin. You can get a permanent scar. So whenever you're getting a hairline, what you're doing is that you're cutting hair precisely off of your skin. Now the blade is touching your skin to get that line. So where that line starts, that's where we start to have problems later on in some years. So, you know, by taking the hairline back or constantly irritating it, it makes it harder for the hair to grow back because the skin is irritated. Okay. So what you want to do is with this uh, shea butter right here, you want to get you a block of it. What you want to do is, you know, you just want to lightly go over your hairline. Okay. This is going to fix a lot of discolorations too. Okay. You want to go ahead and go through your whole hairline, okay, with the shea butter stick. Something, something natural, okay. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this with uh, grease, cause you know grease or pomades is not gonna do anything beneficial for your scalp. But this shea butter right here, this is gonna fix our skin. So anything that fixes our skin is good for our scalp. If anything is good for our scalp, I don't know what I do with my mirror, man. Damn. I'm always starting videos. Now I got my stuff together. Okay, here we go. Found it. Okay, so once you go over, you know, your hairline with it, and this is not only for your hairline though too, okay? If we have certain spots in our hair that's, you know, prone to baldness or you see it getting a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, hair not coming back as strong as it used to, you know, That's what the shea butter is really, really good for. Okay. Okay, now once you got that shea butter in there, oh yeah, y'all can see the rubs, they they starting to come. So wanna make sure to put this down where you get those tapers at too, to protect your skin from razor burn. The next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna Lightly brush that in. Lightly. Let me tell you what happened to Walker's hairline. See, I used to, you know, go get them fancy hairlines and cuts and stuff. Then I'd go back to brushing really, really hard. Really, really hard. You know, and the front of the skin is not healed. So it's not really ready for a brush. So a lot of mistakes that waivers do is that they go and they get a nice haircut, you know, it's nice, their hairline is fresh, then they go back to brushing hard 
on the hairline. Well, if you just got a fresh cut, your hairline, wherever you got the razors, wherever they touch your skin at, your skin's not healed yet. So it's not ready for all that brush. And I don't care if you use a medium or a soft brush, you're still hurting that skin because the skin is vulnerable, especially after getting a tattoo on it. That's just like going and getting a tattoo and then right after you get a tattoo, you know, going out up in the sun or slapping the tattoo, you know, your skin's healing. So if you touch your skin while it's healing, what happens is that it doesn't heal as well or it doesn't fully recover, which means that you'll be left with the mark. Now, if you don't want your tattoo to fade, you leave your tattoo alone for a few days and you treat it after you get the, the tattoo done. Same thing with your hairline. It took me a couple of years to really find this out, but now that I'm older, paying attention to how my body and the hair reacts, the hair go with the body. It's the same thing. You have to give your skin time to heal, okay? So you just can't go back to all that brushing all hard after a fresh hairline, you know? You shouldn't really need to be brushing. I mean, everything should be set and ready to go. You know, if you want waves, you have to go for waves. If you're trying to go for hair designs, go for hair designs. You can't do both. You can't really do both, okay? You get that waver at heart cut in your hair. You can't go back to brushing hard like how you did before you had that design in your hair. Why? Because your scalp is irritated. So if you start brushing right there, you're always gonna have a permanent mark. Don't believe me? Wave red heart. Permanent. Brandon. What is that? It's a fork, a permanent fork, a permanent bruise, because I didn't give my skin enough time to heal when I was doing designs. Now it's permanent, but I don't want it to be permanent. I want the waves to stay in permanent. So, just a tip, just a tip for y'all waivers out there. When you irritate your scalp, there's going to be consequences to it if you don't let it heal up. So now we now that we got the shea butter all up in there, you know, we're going to go back and just brush to our natural pattern. And this will help ease the shea butter all around and to our scalp. I'm talking to primarily my waivers that are just starting over or that are scalped with me. You know, this is the best. There's not much stuff that we can use right now because we don't have much hair. So the best thing that you can do for your hair is take care of your scalp since you don't have a lot of hair and your scalp is visible. Have a healthy scalp before you start having a lot of hair to have the best waves possible well hope y'all learned something you know what i'm saying <laughs> make sure to uh like and subscribe you know um i'm not i'm not doing i'm not really being serious but i just be doing this for fun trying to help out you know the waivers community and you know have black people looking good and right again you know okay we got plenty of uh uh, Kodak Blacks around here and stuff, and, you know, I mean, we got plenty of that. Let's go back, let's get back to looking good to where brothers won't want to shoot and rob another brother just because he's really looking good. Uh, if you're not following me on my Instagram, make sure to follow me up on my Instagram at Walker's Waves. A lot of uh, crazy content, you know, anything that'll help you 
reach your goals, you know, because I'm all about people reaching their goals. Uh, make sure to keep the brushes moving. Remember, you can do it. Walking those away. Peep my outro, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>